，梁歌制作《矛盾散文集》。五月三十日的下午，这是一个闷热的下午，这是一个暴风雨的先驱的闷热的下午。我看见穿着燕野夏装的太太们，晃着满意的红泽泽大面孔的绅士们。Produced by Liang Gu, Mao Dun's Prose Collection. The afternoon of May 30th. It was a sultry afternoon, a sultry afternoon that was the harbinger of a storm. I saw ladies wearing gorgeous summer dresses and gentlemen with big, red faces showing satisfaction. 我看见太太们的乐园依旧大开着门，欢迎他一的主顾。我只看见街角上有不多几个短衣人在那里窃窃议论。I saw that the ladies' paradise was still open to welcome its patrons. I only saw a few people in short clothes on the street corner talking earnestly. 一太太们的乐园原为法国作家佐拉以近代大规模的百货商店为描写对象的小说名，作者在这里借用了这个词。一切都很自然，很满意，很平静，除了那边窃窃议论的几个短衣人。Ladies' Paradise was originally the title of a novel written by French writer Zola, which described large-scale department stores in modern times. The author borrowed the word here. Everything was natural, very satisfying, very peaceful, except for a few people in short clothes who were talking earnestly over there. 谁肯相信，半小时前就在这高耸云霄的太太们的乐园旁，曾演过空前的悲壮热烈的活剧，有万千争自由的旗帜飞舞，有万千打倒帝国主义的呼声震荡。Who would believe that an unprecedented, tragic, and lively drama had been performed half an hour ago beside this towering ladies' paradise? There are thousands of "fight for freedom" flags flying, and thousands of calls for "down with imperialism." 有多少勇敢的青年洒他们的热血，要把这块灰色的土地染红？谁还记得在这里竟曾向密集的群众开放排枪？谁还记得先进的文明人曾卸下了假面具，露一露他们的狠毒丑恶的本相？忘了。How many brave young people are pouring their blood to dye this gray land red? Who still remembers that volleys of guns were open to dense crowds here? Who still remembers that advanced civilized people once took off their masks and revealed their vicious and ugly true colors? Forgot. 一切都忘了。可爱的、驯良的、大量的市民们、绅士们、体面商人们，早把一切都忘了。那边路旁，不知是什么商品的门槛旁，斜躺着几块碎玻璃片，带着枪伤。Everything has been forgotten. The lovely, kind, numerous citizens, gentlemen, respectable businessmen, have long forgotten everything. Next to the threshold of an unknown product on the roadside over there, there were several pieces of broken glass lying with gunshot wounds. 我看见一个纤腰长裙、金黄头发的妇人踹着那碎玻璃，姗姗地走过，嘴角上还浮出一个浅笑。我又看见一个鬓带粉红绢花的少女，倚在大肚子绅士的臂膊上，也踹着那些碎玻璃走过。I saw a woman with slender waist and long skirt and golden hair, kicking the broken glass and walking slowly past, with a slight smile on her lips. Then I saw a girl wearing pink silk flowers on her temples, leaning on the arm of a pot-bellied gentleman, and walking past while kicking the broken glass. 两人交换一个了解的微笑，啊，可怜的碎玻璃片呀，可敬的枪弹的牺牲品呀，我向你敬礼。你是今天争自由而死的战士以外唯一的被牺牲者吗？争自由的战士啊，你们为了他们而牺牲的。The two exchanged a knowing smile. Oh, poor broken glass. Venerable victim of bullets. 
I salute you. Are you the only victim besides the soldiers who died fighting for freedom today? Fighters for freedom. You sacrificed for them. Xu Ye just felt that they were a little smiling, and like those old pictures of wood. A smile. 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 只有这放大的微笑在我眼前晃。Maybe I only received their slight smiles as well as these broken glass pieces. Smile, a malicious smile, a cowardly smile, a smile that can never be forgotten. I felt like I was standing in a desolate desert with only this enlarged smile dazzling in front of my eyes. 我往往然拾取了一片碎玻璃，我吻它，蹦出了一句话道：“既然一切医院都拒绝我去向受伤的死的战士敬礼，我就对你和死者、伤者同命运的你致敬礼罢。”我捧着这碎片狂吻。I picked up a piece of broken glass in bewilderment, kissed it, and said, "Since all hospitals refuse me to salute the wounded and dead soldiers, I will say to you." You who share the same fate as the dead and wounded, salute. I held the fragment and kissed it wildly. 呼的有极漂亮的声音在我耳边响道，他们简直疯了。他们想拼着头颅撞开地狱的铁门吗？我抖得转过身去，我看见一位翘着八字须的先生，许是什么博士爸，正斜着眼睛看我。他。Suddenly, a very beautiful voice rang in my ear. They are absolutely crazy. Do they want to break open the iron gate of hell with their heads? I turned around sharply and saw a man with a mustache. The husband, Sue, is a doctor of some kind, is looking at me sideways. He looks so familiar. 我努力要记其他的姓名来，他又冲着我的面孔说道：“我不是说地狱门不应该打开，我是觉得犯不着撞碎头颅去打开，而况即使拼了头颅，未必打得开。难道我们没有别的和平的方法吗 ？”I tried to remember other names. He then said to my face, "I'm not saying that the gate of hell shouldn't be opened." I think it's not necessary to smash your head to open it, and even if you smash your head, you may not be able to open it. Don't we have other ways to make peace? 而况这很有过激化的嫌疑吗？我们是爱和平的民族，总该用文明手段呀、啊。实在最好是祈祷上苍转移人心于冥冥之中。再不然，我们有的是东方精神文明。区区肉体上的屈辱，何必计较？哈。Besides, isn't this very extreme? We are a peace-loving nation, so we should always use civilized means. In fact, it is best to pray to God to divert people's hearts from the dark world. Otherwise, what we have is Eastern spiritual civilization. So why bother with mere physical humiliation? Ha. 你想不起我是谁吗？实在抱歉，我听了这一番话，更想不起他是谁了。我只有向他鞠躬，便离开了他。然而他那番话还在我耳旁奏怪的嗡嗡的响，我又恍惚觉得他的身体放大了。Can't you remember who I am? I'm really sorry. After hearing these words, I couldn't think of anyone else. I could only bow to him and left him. However, his words still buzzed strangely in my ears. I felt like his body was enlarged again. 很顽强地站在我面前，挡住我的去路。又看见他幻化为数千百，在人丛里乱钻。终于，我看见街上熙熙攘攘往来的都是他的化身了。而张牙舞爪的吃人的怪兽却高举在他们头上狞笑，突然幻象全消。He stood tenaciously in front of me, blocking my way.
then I saw him transforming into thousands of people, slithering through the crowd. Finally I saw that the bustling people on the street were all his incarnations, and they were eating people with their teeth and claws. The monster is standing above them and grinning. Suddenly the illusion disappeared. 现出一片真景来,那边站满华人的水泥行人道上,跳上一起马,驮了一个黄发碧眼的武装的人,提着木棍不分造白乱打。棍子碰着皮肉的回音,使我听去好像是,难道我们没有别的和平的方法吗? A real scene emerged, on the concrete sidewalk full of Chinese, stood over there, a horse jumped on a horse, carrying an armed man with yellow hair and blue eyes, carrying a wooden stick and beating them indiscriminately. The echo of the stick against flesh sounded to me as if, don't we have any other way to make peace? 我们有的是东方精神文明,区区肉体上的屈辱,何必计较,和平方法呀。这未尝不是一个好名词。可惜,对于无条件被人打被人杀的人们不配。what we have is Eastern spiritual civilization, so why care about mere physical humiliation? Peaceful method. This is not a good term. Unfortunately, it is not worthy of people who are beaten and killed unconditionally. What is the meaning of peaceful method in the words of people who are beaten and killed? 人家不来同你和平,你有什么办法呢?和平方法是势力相等的半交涉时的漂亮话,出之于被打被杀者的嘴里是何等悲切无耻啊。人家何尝把你当作平等的人?爱谈和平方法的先生们啊。If people don't come to make peace with you, what can you do? Peaceful methods are just nice words for negotiations between equals. How cowardly and shameless it comes from the mouths of those who have been beaten and killed. Why do people treat you as someone whose works are waiting for you? Gentlemen who love to talk about peaceful methods. 你们脸是黄的,发是黑的,鼻梁是平的,人家看来你总是一个劣等民族,只有人家高兴给你和平,没有你开口要求的份儿里。以眼还眼。your face is yellow, your hair is black, and your nose is flat. People always think you are an inferior race. Only people are happy to give you peace, and you have no part in asking for it. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. 信奉这条教义的摩罕默德一的子孙们现在终于又挺起身子了。这才有开口向人家讲和平办法的资格啊。像我们现在呢,也只有一个办法,以眼还眼,以牙还牙,不甘心手,也不要多。The descendants of Muhammad who believe in this doctrine are finally standing up again. Only then are they qualified to speak to others about peaceful methods. Like us now, there is only one way, an eye for an eye, tit for tat. Don't settle for less, and don't want more. 一摩罕默德通译穆罕默德, Mohammed, 约570-632,阿拉伯半岛卖家, 今沙特阿拉伯西北部汉制境内, 人, 伊斯兰教的创立人, 以眼还眼, 以牙还牙, 这两句话不断地在我脑海里回旋, Mohammed, Mohammed, approximately 570 to 632, was a native of Mecca on the Arabian Peninsula, today's Hejaz in northwest Saudi Arabia. The founder of Islam. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. These two sentences kept spinning in my mind. 我在人从里愤怒地推挤,我想找几个人来讨论我的新信仰。忽然疏疏落落地下起雨来了,暮色已经围抱着这都市,街上行人也渐渐稀少了。
I pushed angrily through the crowd, trying to find someone to discuss my new faith with. Suddenly it started to rain sparsely, dusk had surrounded the city, and the number of pedestrians on the street gradually became less and less. I turned into a small alley and the rain became heavier. 路灯在雨中放着安静的冷光，这还是一个闷热的黄昏，这使我满载着欲怒的心更加烦躁。风携着细雨吹到我脸上，稍感这些凉快。The street lamps cast a quiet, cold light in the rain. It was still a sultry evening, which made my heart full of anger even more irritable. The wind carried the drizzle and blew it onto my face. Making me feel a little cooler. 但是随风送来的一种特别声浪呼的，又使我的热血在嗫嚅不血管里乱跳。这是一阵歌吹声、竹排声、哗笑声。他们离流血的地点不过百步，距流血的时间不过一小时，竟然歌吹作乐呵，我的心抖了。But a special sound brought by the wind suddenly made my blood beat wildly in the veins of my temples. It was the sound of singing, playing bamboo cards, and laughter. They were only a hundred steps away from the place of bloodshed and less than an hour away from the bloodshed, yet they were singing and playing for joy. My heart trembled. <laughs> 这虎狼在上而屎路在下的都市，我祈求热血来洗刷这一切的强横暴虐，同时也洗刷这卑贱无耻呀、啊！雨点更粗更密了，封闭也似乎近了些。I began to curse this city, this filthy and shameless city, this city with tigers and wolves at the top and hogs and deer at the bottom. I pray for hot blood to wash away all this tyranny and cruelty, and at the same time wash away this meanness and shamelessness. The raindrops are thicker and denser, and the wind seems to be stronger. This is the first time the first time of 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 the first time. 都已说过了，办得到，要做的都已做过了，剩下来还有什么呢 ？Maybe this is the vanguard of the storm that is bound to follow the sultry heat. In Shanghai on the night of May 30th, 1925. Tired. Everyone is tired. Everything that can be thought of and said has been said. Everything that can be done and needs to be done has been done. What is left? 只觉得前途渺茫而已。热情的高 X D X 潮已成为过去，在喘息的刹那间便露出了皮容。我们想得到，要说的都已尽量的说过了；办得到，要办的都已尽量的办过了。而事情还不过如此。他们说：“不错。” I just feel like my future is slim. The climax of enthusiasm has become a thing of the past, and the moment he breathed, he showed fatigue. What we can think of and what we want to say has been said as much as possible. What can be done and what needs to be done has been done as much as possible, and that's just the way it is. They said. Good. 在他们既已说完一切想得到的要说的，做过一切办得到的要做的以后。而事情还不过如此，他们觉得没有路了，没有事做了，并且明明另有路，另有事，又不愿意去走去办。那么，除了疲倦。After they have said everything they can think of, have done everything they can, and things are still like this, they feel that there is no way out. There is nothing to do, and it is clear that there is another way and something else to do. If you don't want to go and get things done, you'll be tired. 他们还有什么？最近爱多亚路的枪声一便把这普遍的疲倦状态揭开了幕。一爱多亚路的枪声，一九二五年九月七日，上海各界群众举行国耻纪念会和游行示威后，永安坊支场工人金国英 
What else do they have? The recent gunshots on Adoya Road unveiled this general state of fatigue. Gunshots on Adoya Road, on September 7, 1925, after people from all walks of life in Shanghai held a national humiliation commemoration meeting and demonstration, workers from the Yangon textile factory passed by the British and. 法租界交界处的爱多亚路时遭到英国巡捕的殴打和枪击,多人受伤,一人被捕。科学的先进者是知道怎样试验的。他们故意打了个金枪针,看有什么反应。果然我们大好的华州被他们试验出来了。While walking on Adoya Road at the junction of the French concession, he was beaten and shot by British patrolmen. Many people were injured and one person was arrested. Scientific leaders know how to test. They deliberately gave it a shot to see what the reaction would be. Sure enough, our great brilliance was tested by them. The reaction after being injected with the golden gun needle was fatigue, low moans and weak twitches. The injectors looked at each other and smiled, and said in their hearts, How?